this video we will study about the assumptions the pp schedule and the pp curve and its shape so the production possibilities for the frontier we have uh, discussed in the previous class what is the production possibilities frontier it gives the possible combination of two goods which a producer can produce given your resources are fixed and the resources are fully and efficiently utilized so the assumptions to this are number one assumption is resources are fixed number second assumption is the technology is given and remains unchanged the third is the resources are efficiently and fully utilized and the fourth is no resource is equally efficient in production of all goods which means that for the production of clothes and shoes you are taking two goods x and y cloth and shoes the resources are different that you require so more resources equally efficient in production of all the goods so these are the assumptions for your production possibilities frontier now what is production possibility schedule the production possibility schedule is a table showing various combinations of the two goods that can be produced with the fixed resources assuming that the resources are fully and efficiently employed see what does your schedule is telling your various combinations that you can produce for two goods like you can if, if you want to produce two units of x and three units of y in that your resources will be fixed and your resources will be fully and efficiently utilized or employed so this is the production possibility schedule now let me tell you these are the combinations a b c d and e right this is your good x 0 1 2 3 4 this is a good y 10 9 7 4 0 right see in order to produce one good x you need to sacrifice one y sorry here it come one y sacrificed for one x how many y you sacrificing two y are sacrificing for one additional x here you are sacrificing three y of one additional x here you are sacrificing four y for one additional x 
this is your marginal rate of transformation this will be starting in completely in the next videos it, so this is a table that is showing the various combinations given your resources and the resources are fully and efficiently utilized so this table is your pp schedule now when you plot this table on the graph good x always take the good which you are obtaining on the x's axis and which you are sacrificing on the y axis so let's take the good x is 1 2 3 4 and 5 let's take on the scale of 2 4 6 8 and 10 See initially what you were doing when you are producing 0 of good x you are producing 10 of good y. Second combination this is combination A. Second combination we will plot is 1 unit of good x 9 of good y which means somewhere this is the second point that is B. Third combination we have 2 of good x and 7 of good y. This is C combination. D combination 3 of good x, 4 of good y. This, please take the scale properly, take the equal distance, then only you will get the proper graph. And then what you are doing is 4 of good x and 0 of good y. This is your point E combination. So you will join all these so this is your curve that you get this curve is your production possibility curve so the graphical representation the graphical representation of various combinations of the two goods that can be produced with the fixed resources assuming that the resources are fully and efficiently employed is your production possibility curve so in this video we have discussed about the assumptions this is your schedule this is your curve now see in this curve what you have this curve is a downward sloping right and this curve is the concave to the origin. This shape is a concave to the origin. Now see, in order to produce one additional of x, you need to sacrifice one additional of y. Then, in order to produce one more additional of x, you have to sacrifice more of y. Then, to produce one more x, you have to sacrifice again more than what you sacrificed, means 3. Now, you for one additional of x1, you need to sacrifice 4 units of y. So, your sacrifice rate is increasing. Right? Now, the question arises, why does your rate of sacrifice increase? See, we had the fourth assumption in this video that we did was no resource no resource is equally efficient in production of all goods so in our pre-pc schedule we find that the rate of sacrifice of production of y to produce an additional of x increases and as more and more of x is produced we did uh, we saw in the table that if one additional of x is produced you have to sacrifice more of y why is the rate of sacrifice increases the rate of sacrifice increases because no resource is equally efficient in the production of goods that was our fourth assumption we did 
it means that the resources which are efficient in the production of eggs are comparatively less efficient for production of sorry the resources which are efficient for the production of y are less efficient for the production of x see if you have to produce wheat or rice the resources which you require for wheat like the seeds are different from what you require for rice or so basmati rice so the production of basmati rice will be more costlier than your wheat so in order to produce more of basmati rice you have to sacrifice more and more of wheat this is the reason that your rate of sacrifice increases for one additional unit of good x so the another famous example for this is guns and butter suppose there is a war that is uh, will be happening in the next couple of time what the defend uh, what the minister uh, will do he will allocate more resources from the fixed resources he will allocate more resources to the guns and less resources to the butter because butter will be required less whereas defense goods will be required more in the case of war so the production of guns is more costly than the production of why uh, butter so in order to produce one extra gun you need more and more butter to be sacrificed let's say uh th 100 butters you need to sacrifice for one extra gun because if your gun cost rupees 4000 your butter cost rupees 40 per piece so you need to sacrifice 100 butters in order to get your 4000 into a gun production so this is why your rate of sacrifices increases i hope you like the video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us